Right now, just a day before Election Day, we have the presidential primary, but also several school referendums, and we'll take a closer look. Not in April Fool's joke here. Alert day conditions just 24 hours away for wet snow. How much you can expect. And bouncing back in Platteville, how an agricultural business there is rising from the ashes after a fire just six months ago. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. And thanks for staying with us. Susan is off tonight. We take a live look at the sky cam as we turn over a new month, although it feels really doesn't feel like April unless you really like snow and rain and all kinds of stuff in the forecast. Feels a little more like February. There's an alert day in the forecast. Maybe a mix of rain and snow tonight, later developing into some snow accumulations tomorrow. Uh, could see a little bit. We'll see how much it'll impact our commute and we turn it over to meteorologist Alex Harrington now. In studio, Alex, what are we looking at here? Yeah, Eric, what we're looking at here is anywhere from two to five inches of slushy snow accumulation with the highest amounts northeast of Madison. This would be Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday. Fed folks on our social media saying, well, you said one to four this morning. Now it's two to five and maybe a little bit more. Well, we're getting more information that these amounts could be just a bit more on the appreciable side. More on the complexities and how that snow is going to stick and where it may stick and where it may not stick coming up in Maine weather. We've got plenty of rain sticking to the ground right now on Doppler track right now, all in the form of rain here. Here, but look it up towards Camp Douglas, up towards Mauston. A lot of different colors up there. Could be having wet snowflakes in Camp Douglas, but heavy rain. Maybe a clap of thunder right now in Mauston along 94. And then as we swing over to the east, that rain snow line is just north of 23, just east of 39, up towards Montello and Princeton. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, we've got rain showers stretching across the northern two-tier counties of the area, a little bit less to the south and to the west, down towards Platte, where things are a little bit dry. Right out. We'll keep the rain shower activity over the night tonight with a couple of wet snowflakes across the area. This is what we're up against. And I want to emphasize this is a slushy snow accumulation. It's April. The pavement temperatures are warm. So some of this will be melting on contact and mostly sticking to grassy surfaces. Least amount south and west of Madison as it looks like right now. Weather models ramping up totals just a bit for areas north and east of Madison as we go on Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. Coming up in Maine weather, we'll break down the timing and also the wind impacts and when you can finally expect warmer temperatures. That's coming up. All right, Alex, thanks. Stay up to date on the weather with our first one forecast weather app, hourly forecast, road conditions, and the latest radar. You can download it for free in your phone's app store. Just search WISC weather. Tomorrow is election day and we're looking ahead at what will be on your ballot. At the top will be the presidential primaries. Each major party's presumptive nominee is the only active candidate to choose from, but there is an uninstructed option available. On the Democratic side, many progressives around the country have chosen the uninstructed option in protest of President Biden's handling of the war in Gaza. There are also two state constitutional questions regarding the way that elections are conducted in the state. But that's not all. Tuesday's primary election, we will see a number of initiatives and voters will see multiple school referenda on their ballots as well. Our Jalen Banks joins us live from Stoughton with what school districts in Dane County will see on their ballots. Jalen? Yeah, Eric, you guys are getting a referenda live shot and also a weather live shot. But anyway, the state will see a total of 91 school district referenda on the ballot. And speaking to schools in our area, for some, they just couldn't wait any longer. The April primary is here and many agendas will feature referenda for school funding. 91 school districts have referenda on the ballot, over 40 in our viewing area and four in Dane County. Something school district administrators say they saw coming due to state laws limiting school revenue and COVID era funding drying up. Increases in how much we receive per student have not kept up with inflation. Um, and not only have they not kept up with inflation, there's been many years in the last 10 to 15 years where the increases have been non-existent. Um, this is one way that districts are allowed to increase how much they receive per student. And so that's why we, along with many other districts, are pursuing um, some taxpayer support. for. The four Dane County schools with a referenda on the ballot include Stoughton, McFarland, Marshall, and Wisconsin Heights. For the Stoughton School District, it sits at a $3.8 million budget deficit, and their referendum will go towards staffing and programming. We are always looking at ways we can sort of squeeze in certain areas, but when 75% of our total budget is our personnel cost, it's really hard to, to address a deficit of that magnitude without some kind of staffing reductions. Marshall Public Schools referendum of $5 million will go towards building upgrades, primarily for security upgrades. The most important part of the referendum is we need to upgrade the security and access into each of our buildings. And so um, each of our four schools will be impacted with a su successful referendum. 
uh, to increase the security at each school entrance. Now the remaining two school district with referenda on the ballot are McFarland and Wisconsin Heights. Those are both in Dane County. They each have a referenda on the ballot for $10 million or more, and those will go towards general operations. For now, reporting in Stoughton, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now. All right, Jalen, thank you. And during tomorrow's primary, former President Trump will be here in Wisconsin. He'll be in Green Bay for a rally marking the first time this campaign season that he'll be in the Badger State. The last time here was back in August of 22 to campaign for then gubernatorial candidate Tim Michaels. Tomorrow's event takes place at the Hyatt Regency. Starts at 5 o'clock. Doors open at 2. And there's still time to obtain an ID if you need one to vote in the primary. And with that being said, the DMV is extending customer service hours tomorrow. They'll now be open until 6 p.m. allowing those who need a photo ID to uh, visit the DMV. The photo ID, one of multiple documents required to show at the polls. DMV offering these ID cards for voting purposes free of charge. Now, with tomorrow's election, make sure to stay up to date with the latest information as it develops. We'll be pushing updates to our free news app all day. You can stay up to date by searching for Channel 3000 and downloading our app. Next tonight at 5, the Dane County Sheriff's Office asking for your help finding a missing inmate who went missing yesterday and was last seen in the Madison area. Deputies received an alert that Richard C. Williams cut off his GPS monitoring bracelet. He's ser serving for multiple charges, including violating a domestic abuse order. A warrant out for his arrest remains in effect. Anyone with information should contact the Dane County Communications Center, 608 255 2345. An arrest has been made in a hit and run crash from over a year ago. Over the weekend, officers arrested 21 year old Tiambra Walker in Peoria and charged her with aggravated assault on a police officer, escape, theft, resisting, and obstructing justice. Investigators say Walker hit 66-year-old Stephen Fleck and his dog on Schrader Road back in February of 2023. He, she was charged last April with hit and run involving death, homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle, and bail jumping. So there was a lot of relief that she was finally off the street. Um, you know, it was hard to go all these months knowing that, you know, she was out there somewhere. Um, and just like I said, the the way this all this case came went down, and you know, not having her in custody. More information about the specifics of the investigation are expected soon. Stay with News 3 now as we learn more details. The trial for the prior Lake Minnesota man accused of killing a teenager and stabbing four others on the Apple River in Minnesota nearly two years ago started today. Investigators say video shows Nikolai Mew being pushed and hit by a group of tubers on the river before he stabbed five people, killing 17-year-old Isaac Schumann. He faces one count of first-degree homicide, four counts of attempted first-degree homicide. If convicted, he could be sentenced to life in prison. The man accused of killing four people in Rockford last Wednesday will be back in court tomorrow. 22-year-old Christian Soto is charged with four counts of first-degree murder, seven counts of attempted murder, and home invasion with a dangerous weapon. Each of the first-degree murder charges carries a max sentence of 60 years. Madison police have arrested a man after he was found with two firearms after a report of shots fired over the weekend. Just before 9.30 Saturday night, Officers responded to the 1000 block of Moreland Road for a report of shots fired. They were told a person with a gun left in a vehicle. A short time later, they stopped a 49 year old man. He did not comply with commands, so they called in a canine unit. He was later taken into custody and faces many charges, including first degree recklessly endangering safety. No injuries were reported. Residents of some apartments on Madison's west side are fighting back after receiving word that their rent would be increasing from 20 to 40% of what they already pay. Now, in this call for action report that airs tonight on News 3 Now at 10, Catherine Merck heard from residents who called our team trying to raise awareness about increasing rent throughout the area. Catherine? We know that rent is difficult for many people to afford in Madison, but residents at the Arose properties say this rent hike is particularly outrageous. David Rivera Core has lived at his two bedroom apartment at the Arose properties on Madison's west side for almost three years. When he first moved in, his rent was close to 1100 a month. And now after growing increases over his time living at the properties, his base rent is now going up to 1500 a month, not including fees like heat and water. While he's a grad student, student planning to eventually leave the area. He's worried for his neighbors who may not be able to do the same. There's a lot of tenants here who are like senior citizens on Social Security, you know, on a fixed income who literally now their income will be less than the rent. Um, so I'm I'm really concerned for them. 
The executive director of the Tenant Resource Center in Madison told me that a couple of tenants in Madison have reached out to them about the hikes at Eros properties. She says the issues expand beyond just these tenants at this Madison location. Over 50% of the tenants in Dane County, which is about over 60,000 renters, are already what's called cost burden, which means that they spend over 30% of their income on rent. So an additional $50 a month is significant for a lot of renters, much less $100, $200, $300, $400 a month. Under Wisconsin law, there are no rent caps that can be placed on landlords under new lease terms. These neighbors have since rallied together to try to fight these rent hikes at the Eros properties. We're going to have the full story tonight at 10 on News 3 Now. Look forward to that, Catherine. Thank you. Next tonight at 5, a Platteville agricultural business burned to the ground last September after a truck in its garage caught fire. They're now moving forward in their new building after just six months. Our Kyle Pazorski visited them today to hear how they got it done. Well, the seeds are stocked up and Vonger Egg is back open for business. Their owner tells me it couldn't have been done, though, without the help of other small businesses. Vonger Egg was only a seven-year-old company at the time of the fire, selling seed and crop protection products north of Platteville. Then, catastrophe. It'll be a day I'll never forget. Brady Vondra's business going up in smoke. His inspiration for creating the company was to help out farmers in the Driffos region, um, coming from his roots yeah. growing up in his family's farm. I really had a passion for helping farmers be successful and really working with them in their operation and helping them out as much as I can. Then the day came that Vondra would need help himself. In the six months since the blaze, Brady says he's partnered with about 12 small businesses in the area to help rebuild. America was founded on small business, and I'll tell you, that it's the group of people that when community comes together, they're all there. And I've seen it. A lot of people don't get to live to see that stuff. Um, unfortunately, you know, and it, we did. Bondra's rebuilt business now includes two buildings with space to grow, telling me his goal remains of helping farmers be successful in their own professional endeavors. And while the finishing touches are being made on this facility north of Platteville, Brady tells me he hopes to eventually have an open house to invite the community to come check it out. Reporting in Grant County, Kyle Bozorski, News 3 Now. And still ahead at 5, Alex returns another check of tomorrow's alert day. He's tracking the latest. Plus, doesn't feel like baseball weather, but next, everything you need to know about the Brewers' home opener tomorrow. And mixed numbers on Wall Street to start the week. The Dow falls some 240 and a half points. The NASDAQ adds more than 17. S&P 500 loses 10 and a half. We'll be right back. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. Whether you're ready to work in the yard, tackle a project, or enjoy family time, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, Rewards members get a free $10 gift card with $100 spent on a state lawn fertilizer, like a state weed and feed, $34.99. Bags of miracle Grow potting mix, just $14.99. And all men's and women's Carhartt pocket tees, two for 30 bucks. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Like a bowl of cherries, life in Attic Angel is healthy and sweet. Our independent and assisted living lifestyles include newly renovated apartments, engaging social activities, and wellness support that is tailored to you. As time marches on, we promote the idea that life can always be a bowl of cherries. Attic Angel Community, the house that angels built. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Thin Comfort Footwear is handmade from the finest of natural products, leather-lined and expertly crafted, made with great care to ensure a first-class product that Thin Comfort is known for. Thin Comfort, meticulously handcrafted in Germany and loaded with arch support. You can be assured that Morgan Shoes will properly fit you in your new Thin Comfort shoes. Comfort with style. Trust your feet to Morgan Shoes. Morgan Shoes, Hildale. What if antibodies from sharks cured cancer? What if breast cancer was prevented with a vaccine? What if new science became clinical trials in real time? At UW Health Carbone Cancer Center, we search the depths of the ocean, the edges of space, turning possibilities into life-saving solutions and what ifs into remarkable realities. UW Health Carbone Cancer Center, remarkable. 
think Sloan's first. You know, the big thing about Sloan's is the ease of doing business. They make everything simple. We choose Sloan's and John Deere because we have availability of equipment, quality service, quality parts, and they have the ability to keep us up and running. Deere season is on now at Sloan Implements. Get your John Deere Z500 series with 0% for 36 months. That's only 117 per month. Power up with Sloan's. Think Sloan's first. The First One weather team is tracking the latest snow amounts for Tuesday and Wednesday alert days at 6. Then we uncover why the Dane County Board is considering doubling inmate wages at the jail. That's tonight at 6. Tonight at 10, a Madison property owner shocks tenants with a huge rent hike. Like a 20 to 40% total rent increase. See how residents are reacting and hoping to spark a change with a call for action. Tonight on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Welcome back. Tip-off less than two hours away for the Badger women's basketball team as they play St. Louis in this year's WNIT Grade 8. The Badgers coming off a dominating win last Thursday of the Redbirds of Illinois State. Tonight's game tips off 7 o'clock on Big Ten Plus. Make sure to tune in to News 3 Now at 10 for complete highlights. And turning to the Diamond after that big sweep in Queens over the Mets, the Brewers return to Milwaukee for the home opener tomorrow afternoon. The first in their two-game series with the Minnesota Twins. And we'll have live coverage from AmFam Field starting tomorrow with Josh and Shane in the morning through tomorrow night after the game. First pitch set for 3-10. And looking even further ahead, Wednesday, the Bucks will be back on our airwaves as they host the Memphis Grizzlies on Television Wisconsin. That's 3.2 over the air. It'll be the second time these two teams will match up in the regular season. Back in February, the Grizz came out with a three-point win over the Bucks. Tip-off scheduled for 7 p.m. The Merrimack Ferry back up and running for the 2024 season. Now available 24 hours, seven days a week, carrying traffic from Wisconsin 113 across the Wisconsin River between Columbia and Sauk counties. Last year, the ferry actually didn't open up until early May. It ran up until the middle of December. Both the DOT and Sauk County websites have links to let you know if it's running if you need to use the ferry. Now time to get a look at your first warrant forecast. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington joins us now with that alert day coming our way, Alex. Yeah, you wouldn't think you have alert day conditions in the beginning of April for snow, but we do here, and it's not an April Fool's joke. Let's hop right to it here. This would be for all of southern Wisconsin. Total snow accumulations. Weather models are continuing to indicate more and more potential of water, and as that translates in, into snow, that means higher slushy snow accumulations of 2 to 5 inches expected, especially for areas northeast of Madison. This really takes effect, so to speak, Tuesday afternoon going on through your Wednesday. All part of the three things you need to know, mostly in the form of rain tonight, although we just had some reports from Oxford up to the north that they're getting snow now and that rain will go over to wet snow on your Tuesday with that snow turning over to windy conditions on your Wednesday, carrying on into your Thursday. Doppler track showing showers from left to right across Dane County, from Mount Horb to Madison to Cottage Grove to Stoughton, swinging up to the north. It's all snow now up towards Camp Douglas and Mauston along I-90, and you just go a little bit over to the east over towards Budson, Princeton, Montello again, Oxford. We had a viewer just submitted a re report, a viewer photo of it snowing out there and ice pellets being reported by one of our viewers right now in Baraboo as well. It's all because those temperatures are at that critical junction right now out there as we see across the area. Take a look at some of these temperatures to the north. They're up around 32 degrees up towards Marquette and Green Lake counties, 39 degrees here in Madison, 43 in Janesville. Temperatures tonight as we plan with those scattered scattered showers out there and those wet snowflakes middle to upper 30s and then middle to upper 30s that's all we're going to do as we go into your Tuesday with temperatures cooling as this weather system really starts to take effect as we go towards five six o'clock in the morning the rain snow shower line from the Dells over towards Marquette and Green Lake counties rain from the Dells and south at that point in time and as we head towards the lunch hour notice the wet snowflakes moving to the south inching towards Madison Mineral Point Boscobel Prairie du Chien with wet snow up to the north in Juneau and Adams Marquette Green Lake Sauk and Columbia County counties. The snow shower activity becomes more widespread as we go Tuesday night going on into your Wednesday morning and the wind is going to ramp up as well. Tune in at six. We'll show you just how strong those winds are going to gust 
on your Wednesday as the snow peaks and then ends as we head towards the noon hour on your Wednesday. Right now, a slushy, and I want to emphasize slushy snow accumulation. It's April. The grass is starting to turn green. The surfaces are starting to get warm. So as some of this snow falls, it will melt on contact. But we're thinking about one, two, maybe three inches of slushy snow in southwest Wisconsin, three or four here in Madison, points up to the Dells. And if you're heading to the northeast, if you have to travel towards Green Bay, they could be looking at that five, six inches of that slushy accumulation. There's some complexity to this weather system as we go Tuesday on into your Wednesday with the heaviest snow eyeing up northeast of Madison at this point in time. Of course, the storm track is key. If we get more water, that means more available moisture to punch out in the form of snow, which we'll be keeping an eye on. And of course, the warm surfaces this time of year allow some melting on contact. That driving impact, again, I want to emphasize the wet snow with the snow coming down in a decent clip, gusty winds. You could see some reduced visibilities with most of that snow accumulating on those grassy surfaces surfaces on those trees and those bushes. Some of those back roads, bridges and overpasses that don't get the traction from consistent cars moving around. You could get a little bit of snow accumulation on some of those roads. The showers tonight, the mix turns over to snow on your Tuesday. That snow ends on your Wednesday, but the winds will be ramped up and strong on your Wednesday. Because of the heavy snow, the National Weather Service, our friends in Milwaukee, want to let folks know that our storm spotter classes in Mount Horb that were scheduled for tomorrow, April 2nd, and in Fitchburg, April 2nd, have been moved to April 23rd in Mount Horb and Fitchburg. Check out more on channel3000.com and our channel3000.com Facebook page on those changes to those storm spotter courses. Once we get past Thursday, we are going to stay chilly because of the impacts of this weather system pushing that warm up now further out into next week. But that's something certainly to look forward to. A little slow going 12 eastbound right now, 35 miles per hour, 41 miles per hour as you head closer to the 39 exchange. Swinging to the south and to the east with the rain shower activity, things are just a touch slower on 39 south towards Janesville in the mid 60s to right around 70 miles per hour. And at 65 up towards Wisconsin Dells up towards Camp Douglas where again, Again, they have some of that rain mixing in with that snow. And at this point tomorrow night, Eric, we will all be dealing with that heavy, wet snow falling across the area and gusty winds, even if some of that snow is melting on those area roadways. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go, Alex. Another round of it. Thank you. Word of a data breach for AT&T customers. What you should do if you're affected next at 5. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes, and as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette. I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Screen. 
I want you. I want fresh air. Hun, you need the experts. The Home Renewal Experts at Belco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feltco. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. Welcome to Badgerscape Design and Landscape. We offer a full range of landscaping services, from design to maintenance. Our professional team is dedicated to meeting all your landscaping needs. Call us at 608-295-1446 or visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com. You're watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. Protect your private information now. That's the advice from experts after a massive AT&T data breach announced over the weekend. The company says it's in the process of identifying affected customers, but experts say it might be worth looking into the hack even if you haven't heard from the company just yet. Amy Kiley reports on their advice. So this is quite a serious issue. Experts say past and present AT&T users should act now to protect their data. The company says it's investigating how information from 73 million customers got onto the dark web. AT&T says it's now notifying those affected. If you get a letter like that in the mail from someone that you have entered into a contract with, you need to take time to read the letter. If you're not notified, just don't assume automatically that you're safe. You need to investigate this. The breach appears to involve data from 2019 or earlier. It could include names, passwords, social security numbers, birth dates, and more. Once a bad guy has that, a criminal has that information, perhaps they could pose as you and call up one of your bank accounts or health accounts. This former NSA general counsel says if you think you've been hacked, one, reset your password. Two, ask a credit reporting agency to put a fraud alert on your account. Three, consider a credit freeze to block someone from opening a credit card in your name. Any hacker who is, who is both skilled enough and lucky enough to get inside a telecom company is going to find a digital treasure chest. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. And we're back with a final check of your first worn forecast in just a moment. to refresh your kitchen? Get an 11% rebate on the whole project in Menards. And add the finishing touch with your 11% rebate. How will you spend your rebate? This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Want to instantly look more attractive years younger? The solution is whiter teeth, but you love coffee, tea, wine, or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered power swabs. One friend was like, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause Cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth with the power swabs. I've been using them for a week and I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. Now it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. This is a power swab smile. Call or go online to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the stain out quick stick absolutely free. Plus get free shipping. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? 
Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. When a crane collapsed during construction of a major league sports stadium, three workers lost their lives. Their widows called us. When maintenance workers were permanently injured by an industrial accident at a public utilities power plant, the seven injured workers called us. When a factory exploded, injuring dozens of workers, 18 victims, including all three families of men who lost their lives, called us. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. With dad's arthritis, he struggles with housework and bathing. So I called a grace. Yes, a grace. With their age at home service, dad gets the help he needs to stay independent at home. A grace. Caring every step of the way. Coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News, flood, hail, and possible tornadoes. We're tracking the severe spring storm set to hit 95 million Americans. The forecast ahead and much more coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News. I'm Braden Ross here at the Dane County Jail where inmates could soon be getting a raise. I have the details coming up tonight at 6. I'm Will Keneally. Coming up at 6, we talk to one of the organizers of the protest vote against Biden on tomorrow's ballot. And Alex is back as we take one final check of what's coming our way in the coming days. Yes, a mix of rain and wet snow changing over to all wet snow across the area. I was just mentioned that weather system that's affecting much of the country is going to affect southern Wisconsin. We are already looking at wet snow up to the north over portions of Juneau and Adams counties, Marquette and Green Lake counties as well. Uh, Oxford viewer photos saying, yep, it's snowing up there, folks. We'll have a mix of rain and wet snow tonight with lows in the middle to upper 30s, but everything changes over to snow on your Tuesday going on into your Wednesday. Join us at 6. We'll be talking about the wind part of this impactful weather system. All right, Alex, we're back in 30 minutes for News 3 now at 6. The CBS Evening News is next.